Missions are a relatively new feature, which are special quests that can be purchased for coins and offer higher rewards, including some really cool exclusive skins. Each mission has several tasks you must complete, and they're all either extremely grindy or surprisingly difficult. In this video, not only am I going to show the easiest ways to beat them as a beginner, I'm also going to show the fastest ways you can complete them. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's get started. Any strategies mentioned in this video will be linked in the description. For our first mission, we have a chance of drizzle, which gives you 1,500 coins, 300 EXP, and the railgun or ranger skin. It has three objectives you must complete. Complete. The first one is to deal 250,000 damage using the ranger. This isn't necessarily hard, it just takes a long time. There really isn't any good strategy for this, so I just recommend spamming a bunch of rangers in fallen mode. If you're playing solo, you can finish the mission in one game. A loadout that I would recommend is the ranger, shotgunner, commander, DJ, and farm. Use the shotgunner for the early game, then try to spend most of your money on the rangers so they can deal the majority of damage. I even recommend placing your shotgunners in the back of the map so they don't steal damage from the rangers. Some of you might struggle with soloing fallen, but you can always just hop into another game. The next objective is to gain 50,000 cash by killing enemies with a ranger. Again, this is something you just gotta grind out, so I suggest doing the same thing as the last objective. Solo fallen mode and let your rangers get as many kills as possible. The third and last objective is much more difficult. You have to triumph hardcore mode on the map Unknown Gardens while having the ranger in your loadout. If you struggle with beating this, I recommend using the unknown spam hardcore strat made by 50p, Yulo, Neko Owo, and Koldeon. It requires no special towers and has a 100% win rate. To do this strat, you'll need three players with the following loadouts. Player 1 will need the farm, trapper, ranger, turret, and military base. Player 2 needs to farm, ace pilot, ranger, commander, and military base. And finally, player 3 needs to farm, shotgunner, ranger, DJ booth, and military base. To find people to play with, I'd recommend using my party finder bot on my discord, which automatically pairs you up with other people. Using the strat, you should easily be able to finish this mission. Next up, we have the mission Hazardous Haste, which gives you 2,200 coins, 400 EXP, and the exclusive nuclear accelerator skin. The first task is to deal 750,000 damage with the accelerator. That's a pretty hefty amount, and unfortunately, there isn't much you can do about that. I recommend once again just soloing follow mode and spamming accelerators as much as you can. A good loadout to use would be the accelerator, shotgunner, farm, commander, and DJ. If you want to get as much damage as possible on the accelerators, I'd recommend placing your shotgunners in the back so they don't steal any kills. If you struggle with soloing follow mode, playing in a squad is much easier, just a bit slower. The next objective is to deal 75,000 damage with the accelerator in a single map. This one is honestly pretty easy, so just do the same thing as the last objective and you should have no problem with dealing this much damage with the accelerators in a single game. The next objective is to be hardcore mode twice using the accelerator. For this, I'd recommend using the Lucille strat, which is the easiest and fastest way to beat hardcore. To use this strategy, you'll need a team of three people. Player one has to bring the farm, warden, ranger, medic, and turret. Player two, which is the position you should take if you're trying to do this mission, needs to bring the farm, ace pilot, ranger, commander, and while normally you would bring the turret, you can replace this with the accelerator, which works just as well, if not better. Finally, player three needs to farm, pyromancer, ranger, DJ booth, and minigunner. Apart from you having to bring the accelerator, this requires no special towers from all other players. It's also a really popular strategy, so you probably won't have much of an issue getting a team. Once you've completed this task, the final objective is to beat polluted wastelands twice using the accelerator. For this, you could probably beat this without too much of an issue as long as you have a squad of people, just make sure your team brings the DJ, medic, and commander. However, if you are struggling to win, I'd recommend using the nuclear shredding strategy by Anta X, Batter, Neko TBHness, and Cliche. It's an easy no special tower strategy, which requires a team of four people. Player one needs to farm, ace pilot, turret, medic, and ranger. Player two needs to farm, ace pilot, turret, pyromancer, and normally the minigunner, but in this case, you want to replace it with the accelerator. And player three needs to farm, ace pilot, turret, commander, and electroshocker. And finally, player four needs to farm, ace pilot, turret, DJ booth, and minigunner. But again, in this case, you want to replace it with the accelerator. That's all the objectives for the nuclear accelerator. Next up, we have back from Inferno, which upon completing, rewards you with 1,000 coins, 250 EXP, and a Slayer shotgunner skin. The first objective is to do 100,000 damage using a shotgun. Gunner. For this, just join any falling game and spam shotgunners. This tower is super strong and is good from early all the way into mid late game. A loadout I would recommend using is a shotgunner, farm, DJ, commander, and minigunner. However, you honestly only really need to get minigunners way into the late game, and for the majority of the game, you only should spam shotgunners. Once you finish that, the next objective is to be multi mode of the shotgunner three times. This is super easy, and you could probably solo this using only the shotgunner and farm. However, to speed things up and make your life easier, I'd recommend bringing the commander and DJ booth. The next objective is where things get pretty hard. You have to beat Infernal Abyss on Fallen Mode twice using the Shotgunner. This map has three lanes, meaning you have to beat three times the amount of enemies. I definitely not recommend trying to beat this solo, and you're much better off using the Infernal Goober strategy by Dang TDS. It only requires two people, needs no special towers, and has a 100% win rate. Each player will need the following loadouts. Player 1 will need to bring the farm, DJ booth, Pyromancer, Shotgunner, and Ranger, and Player 2 needs to farm, Commander, Military Base, Shotgunner, and Ranger. Keep in mind that doing Player 2 is significantly harder than Player 1, since you need to use the abilities of the Commander 
recruit and military base. Once you've done that twice, you finish the mission. Next up, we have a mysterious drifter, which gives you 1,250 coins, 300 EXP, and the Badlands Ranger skin. The first objective is to kill 1,000 enemies with the Ranger. You could accomplish this by just soloing Multimode a couple of times, but a faster way would be to play on a map with multiple lanes, such as Infernal Abyss. This map has three lanes, meaning it spawns three XD amount of enemies. Using a farm, Shockerner, Ranger, Commander, and DJ, you should easily be able to beat the solo, and it'll finish this objective three times as fast. After that, the next objective is to do 1 million damage in Badlands 2. That's a lot of damage, but luckily, it doesn't just have to come from the Ranger, and any damage from any tower is counted. So, I would recommend using the Silly Quick Draw strat made by underscore APC and Sillyoki. This is the fastest strategy for beating Badlands 2, with the fastest time being 50 minutes and 10 seconds with no special towers. You'll need a team of 4 people with the following loadouts. Player 1 will need a DPS tower, which could be the Golden or Normal Minigunner, Accelerator or Turret, and you'll need a Ranger, Commander, Shotgunner, and Farm. Player 2 will need a DPS tower of their choice, Ranger, DJ Booth, Shotgunner, and Farm. Player 3 will need a DPS tower of their choice, Ranger, Electroshocker, Shotgunner, and Farm. Player 4 will need the Turret, Ranger, Pyromancer, Normal Soldier or Golden Scout, and Farm. Using this, you should be able to beat this objective pretty quickly. The last objective is to be balanced to three times using the Ranger. This isn't too hard, and you can do this using the same strategy as the previous objective. After that, you finish this mission. Next up, we have your being recorded, which gives 1,000 coins, 250 EXP, and the Cybernetic Crook Boss. It has three objectives, with the first one being to deal 150,000 damage with the Crook Boss. For this, I'd recommend trying to solo follow mode, as playing solo means you'll deal a lot more damage. A good loadout for this would be the Normal or Golden Crook Boss, Minigunner, Commander, DJ, and Farm. If you don't have the Golden Crook Boss and have to use a normal version, I'd recommend doing this on an easy map like Grassy Isles, as the loadout may struggle a bit. Regardless, place your crooks in the front of the map and try to get minigunners as late as possible and at the very back of the map so they don't steal as much damage. Also, don't be so worried about winning as dealing damage is the only thing that matters. After that, the next objective is to triumph any map 5 times using the crook boss. You can use the same loadout, but just make sure you play in easy mode as the game mode doesn't matter. Easy mode is much faster and of course, not as hard. The last objective is a bit harder. You have to beat Space City in follow mode 3 times using the crook boss. Space City has 2 lanes, meaning you'll have to kill twice the amount of enemies. Also, there isn't a lot of good space to play towers. Fortunately, you can use the cybernetic spaces strategy by Dank TDS. It requires no special towers and you only need a team of two people with the following loadouts. Player 1, which should be the person trying to beat this mission, needs to farm, DJ, Pyromancer, Crook Boss, and Ranger. Player 2 needs to farm, Commander, Shotgunner, Minigunner, and Ranger. Once you've done this three times, you have completed the mission. Next up, we have Tech Tactician, which gives you 1,500 coins, 300 EXP, and the Phantom Commander skin. It has three objectives, with the first one being to use the Commander ability 40 times. You can do this really quickly in an easy or molten game. Just place a bunch of level 2 commanders, spam their abilities, and you can definitely finish this objective in one quick game. The next objective is to try and follow mode with the commander 4 times. For this, I would highly recommend playing with a squad of people, whether or not it's random. It just makes things a lot easier. Any loadout should work, but as a recommendation, you can use the commander, minigunner, shotgunner, farm, and DJ. After that, the last objective is a lot more difficult, which is to beat Cyber City in hardcore mode using the commander. This is something that a lot of people have been struggling with, but you can do it pretty easily using the no special tower strategy cyber spam by 50 P, Yulo, Nekoo, and Koldeon. For this, you need a team of three people with the following loadouts. Player 1 needs to farm, Trapper, Ranger, Turret, and Military Base. Player 2 needs to farm, Ace Pilot, Ranger, Commander, and Military Base. And finally, Player 3 needs to farm, Shotgunner, Ranger, DJ Booth, and Military Base. Using this strategy, you won't have much of an issue completing this mission. After that, our final mission is Suppressing Fire, which gives 1,000 coins, 250 EXP, and the Phantom Minigunner skin. It has three objectives, with the first one being to deal 200,000 damage using the Minigunner. For this, I'd recommend trying to solo follow mode, as playing by yourself means you can deal a lot more damage. A loadout I would recommend is a Golden slash Normal Minigunner, Farm, Shotgunner, Commander, and DJ. Use the Shotgunners in the early game, but place them near the back, so once you do get your Minigunners, their damage isn't stolen by the Shotgunners. You could probably complete this task in a single game. The next objective is to kill 2,000 enemies with the Minigunner. Since this isn't based on damage, you should be playing on multi mode, which has the same amount of enemies, but easier. If you want to speed this up even more, you can play it on Infernal Abyss, which spawns three times the amount of enemies. Although, if you aren't super experienced, you might struggle with this a bit. Also, 2,000 kills is a decent amount, so it might take a couple of games. The final objective objective is to beat follow mode and wreck battlefield three times using a minigunner. This shouldn't be too hard, considering the map is pretty simple. Still, I'd recommend playing with a squad of people and using the same loadout as before, just to make your life as easy as possible. Once you've done this three times, you finish the final mission. And with that, that's it for this video. 
Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about missions and whether or not they're a good addition to the game. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. Also, if you want to talk to me, consider checking out my Discord. We got some pretty cool features, like a custom party finder bot that will automatically pair you up with other people who are trying to do the same strategy. There's a link to the server pinned in the comments. And finally, I want to give a huge shout out to these channel members for supporting my content. If you want to add me as a friend on Roblox or get early access to some of my videos, consider becoming a channel member. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.